What is up guys, Billy Mac here. Sorry it's been a minute. It's been dealing with some personal stuff here at the household. But it's also been very dry. It's been probably one of the biggest droughts we've ever had in Rhode Island. God knows how. Maybe since probably 2020 was the recorded worst. I think this one topped it. Um, all the grass is pretty much dead. Everything's all brown. Brown as brown can be. The pond, I have no pond at the moment. It's all dried up. Roughly about where those trees are, I'd be digging this whole thing out. I want to make this the deepest part of the wetlands. It would be a pond. It would be something that would be here probably all year round. Keeping with the frogs and everything like that. Um, tadpoles. Maybe even we can add some fish. I've been looking for some new spots to do some magnet fishing. Um, but most everything's been dry. I mean, you can't find a spot that has any water, really. Um, I'm probably going to hit some spots of the... Pawcatuck River today and just check them out see what the water levels like um, but right now I'm taking the girls out for a little walk out in the woods and uh, let's go uh, go do a little exploring yeah it's just been hot like everything that's growing is weeds you know poison ivy stuff that is hardy any of the grass stuff like that is pretty much dead in fact you'll see well like that tree over there because it's been so dry. I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom in. That, now you probably can't see it in camera. It's too bright. But those leaves are starting to change. Yeah, you can kind of now. Starting to turn yellow. It's, like, it's almost like pre-fall here. Um, uh, because of how dry it's been. Like Everything's just drying up so early. Uh, it's been so dry, so the leaves are dying, they're falling off. Um, even out here in the woods, a lot of things are just shriveling up and starting to die. Ain't that right lately? Gotta get that Widowmaker out of fell. Big old tree there. They call it a Widowmaker because they say if you're under it, on a windy day or a stormy day and it falls, it turns your partner into a widow. Hence the name Widow Maker. But if you see over here in the back part of the property, you can tell it was there and it dropped. Um, so I gotta get that cut up because yeah, I own up to a good portion of the hill, but it's just a weird cut. And this is a kind of cool too. This big old maple here. This is an oak. That's uh, a maple. You can tell at one time it got struck by lightning. That must have been very loud. I don't know if it like got struck at that point and then it went down or if it went through the tree and then it came out at this point. It's interesting. Uh, it's trying to keep on this. We're not trying to climb the hill today. We found um, up by one of my rocks over here. Uh, I don't know if they're yellow jackets or um, cicada killing wasps, but we all got stung one day, didn't we girls? Well, two of us did. Me and the big old girl right there. Yeah, so we'll take these dogs for a little walk out in the woods. Get the memory card from the trail camera. Trail camera is, as always, right there. And then we will... Um, We'll go check out some spots. There's a few spots I saw on Google Earth that I want to check out um, for magnet fishing. I mean, we had a little bit of rain here. Um, wasn't very big. wasn't much. It was just enough to get the ground damp a little bit. As you can tell, the <coughs> pencil dry of the brook is completely gone. There is no brook. Yeah, so we're going to go check out a few spots. Um, I'll bring the magnet with me. I don't expect it to be very uh, interesting. The rivers have been very low. I don't know the actual um, 
feet low we are, but uh, I know we're way below average for this time of year. It's been a warm one. It's been a hot one. Let's uh, let's go check those spots out. What is up, guys? It's the next day. I went out to the spots yesterday, and my camera batteries died, so that's a thing. Um, but today we're getting an all-day rain session. I'm in the middle of in between a couple passing rainstorms, so um, it's not raining at this very moment. But I am protected by my gazebo, so it's okay. Um, we haven't had rain like this for an all-day soaker. I, since May or June, I mean, it's been a while. It's been months since we've had a rain. I mean, we've had like maybe one downpour here or there or something like that to to just slightly soak the ground. But today is going to be an all-day soaker. We're supposed to be getting roughly about an inch of rain, which is a lot. You know, something we haven't had in a, in a while. Um, so it's it's good. It, we need this. We've hadn't had rain in a long time. Uh, tomorrow we're going to try to go back out to those new spots to see what we can do. One of them looks very promising. One of them looks a bit sketchy. Um, I think the bridge is just too high for what I want to do. Um, but we'll, we'll take another look at it see what happens. Maybe we'll have to do something when the rivers are higher and they're not so low. Today's going to be a soaker, so we're going to let it soak and let the rivers fill back up again and see what we are at and what we're doing. So if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.